Chapter seven is all about creating financial statements for our sole proprietorship that we've been working with. So 7.1 is focusing on our income statement. Um, there are a couple terminology things that I wanna go over that you'll see on terms or maybe your crossword later. The first is this financial accounting or managerial accounting. Financial accounting is gonna focus on reporting information for external users and managerial accounting is focusing on reporting information for internal users, so inside the business. Our income statement is a financial report showing our revenues, expenses, and either our net income or our net loss. We also sometimes have a statement of owner's equity, which is reporting the changes in that specific capital account for our proprietorship for that physical period of time. We're going to get the information needed to prepare our income statement from our worksheet account title columns, and then our income statement columns, which we prepared in 6.3. So four sections of an income statement, the heading, then we have our revenue section, then we have our expenses, and then finally, it's either net income or net loss. When creating our heading of our income statement, the first is always the company name, followed by the name of the report, in this case, our income statement, and then the date of the report. When we're talking an income statement, we always write for the month ended, and then the date. There are the steps for preparing the income statement. Please read through those and fill in your blanks accordingly. But we're gonna complete that in MindTap, so I'm not gonna read that to you. Couple things to point out. If a business does have more than one source of revenue, so they have multiple revenue accounts, they'll be listed just as how we have multiple expense accounts. Also, if we have a net loss that has been calculated, it is going to be recorded in the same manner that we record net income, but it will be recorded in parentheses to signify that it is a negative number. A couple analysis that we need to talk about. Um, a ratio analysis is just interpreting financial information in a ratio. Financial analysis is comparing two components of financial information together, which is then often showcased in a ratio analysis. A vertical analysis is reporting an amount on a financial statement as a percentage of the same item, which we're going to do a vertical analysis called a component percentage today. Return on sales is going to be the ratio of net income to total sales. The vertical analysis that we're gonna be dealing with is the component percentage. And that is showing the relationship between one financial item and another. In this case, expenses and our total sales are gonna be compared. And then our total revenue against our income is going to be prepared. That's how you find both. And we are going to do those in MindTap as well. So let's go to MindTap, 7.1 work together. All right, so we're completing an income statement for hair care salon. Um, first, we need to complete the heading. So the first row is always gonna be our company name, hair care salon. Second row is gonna be the income state or the, the financial statement we're making, income statement. And the third is going to be our date. For an income statement, we're gonna write for month ended. In this case, we're using May 31st of 20 dash dash. All right, that's our heading. Step two, it wants us to go through all of our accounts and decide which account would be on our income statement and if it's gonna be revenue or expenses. So cash is neither because it's an asset. Petty cash, neither, it's an asset. Supplies is an asset. Prepaid insurance is an asset. Accounts payable is a liability, so it's not revenue or expenses. Capital, owner's equity. Drawing, also owner's equity. Income summary, also neither. Finally, we get our first revenue account, sales. The rest of these are all expense accounts, so they would all fall on the expense section of our income statement. Okay, next is our income statement amounts. So we are looking at our income statement column on our worksheet, and we are going to be using this information right here, our sales, and then all our expense accounts, and then finally, this net income amount. 
So first is our sales amount, which is 5,800. Next are gonna be all of our expenses. So advertising, 750. Cash short and over is $3. Insurance expense is 610. Miscellaneous expense is 167. Supplies expense, 540. Utilities expense is 300. Then it wants us to total up our expenses. So we'll wanna add all of these together. If you wanna save time, you've actually already done that. This $2,370 is your total expenses. All right, that's step three. Next, we're going to calculate our net income and net loss, which again, we already did on our worksheet. So if you wanna go back a step, you can, um, but we're just taking our sales, subtracting our total expenses, which is $3,430. And since revenue is bigger than expenses, we have a net income. Okay, last is this component percentage. So this right here that I talked about earlier in your notes. So what we are doing is we're finding the vertical analysis of percentage of sales. They want us to round our percentages to the nearest tenth. So percentage of sales, well, 5,800, that's 100% of our sales, okay? Next, it wants to know of our sales, what percentage is expenses comparably? So I'm gonna take 2,000, 370 and I am going to divide that by my total sales 5,800 which gives me 0 0.4086 so I'm going to round it so 40.9 now I can do this next one one of two ways I can take 100 minus 40.9 and I'm gonna get 59.1, or I can take 3,430 and divide it by my sales, 5,800, and get 59.1. Regardless, it's just wanting to know what percentage of our net income is our percentage of sales. If we go back to our notes here, we can see that 55% is the acceptable amount. We are under that for expenses. And then anything greater than 45% when comparing net income and our sales, and we are over that as well. So this business is in good financial health. Okay, that's preparing an income statement, just recording your revenue, your expenses, totaling, determining net income or net loss. Remember if it's a net loss, we would have put that in parentheses and this would have been a negative number also. All right, do the on your own in terms.